In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Law, I wish to state that on October 25, 2013, a notice of this meeting from the Upper Township Committee was posted on the official bulletin board, mailed to the Cape May County Gazette, the Atlantic City Press, the Ocean City Sentinel Ledger, the Pearl Times, and probably the Township Clerk. Tonight's meeting is being video recorded and will be available on UTTV Channel 2 and on the Upper Township website. I hereby direct that this announcement be made by the meetings of this meeting. I would ask all to rise and move the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Barbara, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Here. Mr. Corson? Here. Mr. Insara? Here. Mr. Newman? Here. Mayor Flumbo? Here. All members are present. Okay, would someone like to make a uh, motion to approve the minutes, the regular and closed session from October 15th? Um, yeah, I'd like to make a motion to approve the October 15th regular and closed session minutes as submitted. Is there a second? Second. Uh, which call, is there any corrections, solutions, omissions that anyone's aware of? Okay, hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion's carried. Okay, go around the tables and see if anybody has any for us tonight. Barbara, do you have anything? I just have uh, two things. Uh, the first thing is, of course, Halloween is this Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. We just want to remind everyone to be careful of all the little uh, trick-or-treaters out there. And then the second thing is uh, Tuesday, November 5th is Election Day. The polls will be open from 6 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. And that's all I have this evening. Okay. That's it. And we have that information on UGTV? Yes. And the website. Both of them, right? Halloween and? Yes, both of them. And, and the election. Daniel. Nothing at this time. Two contract negotiation matters for closed session. Okay. Paul. Uh, thank you. Uh, first, I just want to give you an update on the uh, beach, grass, and dune fencing project. I'll be meeting with the contractor later this week, and uh, hopefully they'll get that project started uh, over the next uh, week or two. Um, the next thing I have, a, a couple projects uh, that wanted to, to continue for and need authorization from committee. Uh, for funding. Uh, the first is the replacement of the Gold Nook uh, Playground. That is the last of the series of playgrounds that we've gone through and to modernize and, and upgrade from a safety standpoint. And that's the last one we need to do. And that's at a cost of $6,700, just over $6,700. We have money budgeted? We have money budgeted, and that's uh, from, from a state contract. I'd like to make that point of motion. Second. Okay. Uh, just for the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Sir. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Uh, the next item is uh, there are cart tippers uh, for the new automated uh, uh, carts uh, for certain sections of the township, such as Harbor Road, and to have uh, uh, to be able to pick up first when other trucks are in repair. Uh, we need to outfit uh, two of our small mini packers uh, with a tipper so they can lift the, uh, the carts, and that would be a, um, for a total of uh, $9,990, and that's from the same vendor that we're getting the um, uh, rear, new rear loader truck from. So they're the ones that we we utilize over in Strathmere to pick up the trash cans on the, on the street end? Street end, and then also throughout the parks, in the parks throughout the township. So that will enable us to, to, to utilize the, for the residents along Harbor Road to have uh, the automated cars because none of the other trucks, you know, the larger trucks can't fit underneath the parkway bridges. Um, the two mini packers can't fit underneath the bridge, so this would allow us to uh, maintain uh, trash service, you know, in the same fashion as the rest of the township over on Harbor Road. We could actually utilize different cans for street ends, too. That it would also allow us to do timber cans there and in, and in the parks also. Yeah, and that, that should keep a much cleaner environment over there. I mean, by uh, Mondays over there, there's a significant amount of trash, and people unfortunately stop going with the recycling and start using any, any available uh, cans. So I, I think we'll actually get a better opportunity for recycling over there with that as well. So, All right, so you need a motion for that? Yes. I'll make that motion that we move forward. Uh, Professor. Professor. Mr. Paul. 
Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Colombo? Yes. Motion is carried. Uh, and the last item uh, was we need to uh, replace the landscaping mower that is utilized here at Township Hall and our other uh, um, facilities uh, for, for mowing, and that's uh, for a new mower for $5,895. That's another scary mower? A similar type mower, yes. Can we get prices? Uh, we've got uh, both this one and for the, uh, the car tippers, we've, got, we've received uh, three price quotes and uh, you know, the vendor would be to the lowest uh, responsible quoter. Okay. Someone like to make a motion? Motion approved. Second. Any other discussion? Let's call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insera? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion carried. And then the last thing I had today, I was at a uh, meeting for the um, Hazard Mitigation Grant Program uh, the emergency generator uh, grant award that we received were at the last meeting and uh, attended a meeting for that project. Uh, the good news about that grant project is that it's, it's another 100% grant, so the, there is no matching share that the township has to make, which is unusual for the federal grant programs. Uh, so the state is picking up, uh, through some of its other programs, the, uh, the local share. So uh, we'll be able to utilize that. And you know, they went over the process of how we have to define this finalized scope and, and have that submitted up to them before the end of the year. Great. So that's good, good news. news. That's all I have for this evening. Thank you. Barbara. Nothing this evening. Okay. Jay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just one item I think you mentioned already uh, change of clock, change of batteries, your smoke detectors. I think we have press releases out in, in different papers, and uh, that should be out there. But we also should be doesn't get out to you, please uh, make that to Chief Association to catch out uh, this, uh, for this week, for this month, rather. That'll be, uh, it's be I guess it's a Sunday, Saturday night, or Sunday morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. That's not when you have to change your uh, smoke protector batteries, but you should do it the next day. Unless, of course, you want to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. No. Um, other than that, Mr. Perry, with nothing to do with Mr. Uh, I don't mention we have a shared service agreement with the fire ship on closed session. That's it. Okay. Curtis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I only have one thing. Uh, our next meeting, we will have our shower with us. And uh, it's for an introduction. And does everybody want a hard copy or a computer copy? Uh, no, I think everybody's have a hard copy of that, so we have a good discussion. Do you want to do previous years to compare them side by side? I have one hand in So if you have 13 and it's a proposed 15 shower with us. And uh, we'll introduce it in the first meeting of December to get back to the Okay? That's all I want to know. Anthony? Uh, I have nothing. Okay. Ed? Nothing to report, sir. Okay. I just have a couple things. Um, uh, the, I, I recently, I don't usually get involved with political ads, but. Um, there's one that's out there right now that kind of disturbs me a little bit, and um, it's an ad that, I guess, it's no secret, it's a band routine, that, that basically says that um, in order to get an ambulance picked up, basically in Upper Township, you need to have a credit card and, and a check. And, and that is absolutely not true. Um, and it's disturbing. It's disturbing. And the only reason why I'm addressing it, because I think it has a potential for public health and, and safety, um, I don't want anyone in this township to ever think that we will never not pick somebody up. It's always in our policy 100% to pick people up. And we worry about the billing way after the fact. Oh, and by the way, the town that the senator lives in, Dennis Township, does the same thing that we in Ocean City and everyone does. And it's a matter of insurance, and it's, it's something that, that um, helps this township overall. So um, I'm only bringing this up because I don't want any resident in this township to ever fear or ever think that they won't be picked up uh, for whatever reason, whether it's uh, if they have a need or whatever. Uh, anytime they call the rescue squad, they will come and they will do what they need to do to take care of people. So um, that's all I'm going to say about it, but um, I, I just, I, I really feel compelled to talk about it because uh, it really is um, perceptually, you know, the opportunity for someone to think that that's the case and, and I need to address it. Well, kind of got under my skin. I am not seeing the ad. I just put my hand on it. That's the question. I'll still be in it. It's not. It is absolutely. 
and it, and it ran on t I saw it tonight on TV, and that's the only reason why I bring it up. And I saw that, and you know, I'm, I'm ready to throw something at the TV. <laughs> you know, I, that's as far as I'll go. I, I, I saw that, and I just couldn't believe it. So it, it's important for me to represent the, the five of us here uh, to say that we are here to act in the, in the public's best interest. We are here to always protect the public, and our rescue squad has always gone above and beyond to take care of people. And that ad insinuates that we won't do that um, uh, without a credit card or, or a check, and that is furthest from the truth. So um, I just need to point it out. So that, that's the first thing. Second of all, um, I originally had a plan to just come, come in and do a little bit of reflecting that a year ago many of us were sitting in these chambers not having a meeting but planning the onslaught of uh, Hurricane Superstorm Sandy. Um, we had a lot of meetings two days off prior to, to the storm actually coming. I guess the storm actually came ashore, it would be tomorrow. Um, and uh, it was uh, a long night, it was long several days afterwards, there was a lot of damage especially to our Strathmere section and, and even on Harbor Road and some of our other areas that um, have a tendency to flood when some major storms come along. Um, I, I can't, again, stress enough that our staff, our OEM staff, our uh, rescue squad, our fire and rescue, our public works, um, everyone, uh, and, and, and the barbers, we, we were all here for many long days. Um, it, it, it just goes to show you that, you know, when a good plan is put in place, um, we're able to overcome um, some real difficult times. Um, we had kind of a nice test, as it were, a false test with Hurricane Irene the year before that. Um, we Lessons learned were incorporated prior to Sandy and after Sandy. Um, and I know that our public works have gotten a lot of kudos over the you know, many months uh, from the Strathmere residents for all they did in helping them get back on their feet with a lot of the damage that was over there. So um, it's amazing what a year will bring. Um, and it's interesting that we're going to have Halloween on the 31st because I recall last year we changed it from Halloween night to Friday night and the governor asked us to, to postpone it another four nights. Um, and uh, so that kind of created chaos for the kids as well. Uh, not to in any way shortchange um, those that were suffering from a lot of damage. But a good plan was put in place and a lot of things um, worked incredibly well. And um, I think we're even more uh, prepared now than we were uh, last year at this time. But um, let's hope that we never experience a storm like that. Uh, I saw an interesting uh, fact in the, in the press they were listing you know, how unique this storm was, and they said that that storm potentially was a one in 700 year storm that hit in Jersey. Now, I don't know that they've taken records for that long, obviously they haven't, but um, you know, I mean, that just goes to sort of the magnitude of the storm. So um, it's, it's really a lot comforting to be here this evening and, and address um, the audience uh, on, on a very calm way, not running around, making sure everything was prepared for uh, an onslaught of what we knew it was going to be a bad storm, but we just didn't know how bad. And, and you know, the next day just continued to get worse. So, thanks to all of our staff again. I know we recognize you as a reorganization, but I can't help but uh, reminisce uh, a year later um, what we went through uh, last year. All of us, we were all here for many hours, uh, many days. So, thank you all. That's all I have. Um, let's move on uh, for resolutions. Okay. Okay. Item number one. In recognition and appreciation of Jeffrey Pearson for his dedicated service to the Upper Township Safety Committee. Move resolution. Second. And to recognize Jeff Pearson is an understatement. He had put in a lot of time uh, for the safety committee as well as a lot of other um, volunteer work he does for the township. So um, it's definitely um, real fitting recognition. And. Um, we, we have to make a decision at some point uh, to see if we want to replace um, Jeff on the safety committee. So that's another issue that we'll address uh, at a later time. So would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number two, congratulating employee Nancy Palmer of the Upper Township Municipal Court for her winning entry in the Upper Township Safety Award Program 
for the fourth quarter of 2013. Move the resolution. Second. <coughs> Mr. Paul, roll please. Mr. Ball? Yes. Mr. Quisson? Yes. Mr. Nsara? Yes. Mr. Dino? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number three, authorizing the township engineer to solicit bids for a six-yard dump truck and roadside boom mower. Second. And this is, Scott, this is uh, memorializing our discussion from the last meeting. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Cleason? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion carried. Item number four, authorizing a contract amendment between Gibson Associates and the Township of Upper for revisions to the official tax map of the of the Township of Upper. With the resolution. Second. And this again memorializes the discussion the committee had at the last meeting. So would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion carried. Item number five, under new business, request for the installation of street lights on Ocean Avenue. Uh, Paul, uh, I'd like to give us an update on this. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a street that's not a, uh, a typical street that you would find um, street lights on. You know, it's a, it's a through street, no curves on the, sh to the road. There are street lights on one end of the street. On the other end of the street, there are no street lights. Um, you know, it doesn't typically fall into the category because it doesn't have sidewalks or curve or an intersection. You know, it's not really something that we typically do, but, you know, you know if you wanted to consider it, you could because there are other streetlights on the road, so it just continue um, a pattern that you've done in, you know, previous uh, administrations have done in the past by installing streetlights on a portion of the road to continue that road. So, you know, it's... And somebody requested this? Or we, there was a resident request. You know, um, we've looked at placing street lights um, for safety reasons, and we look at it that you know there's dark um, areas on the road. And you know, my feeling is, is uh, if, if there are some potential really dark areas on that, that I, I would be inclined to go ahead and put some street lights uh, as requested. Um, yeah, they're most likely they're going to be mounted on a pole in an existing, existing utility, pole. In existing utility pole. So they're typically, depending on how far the transformer is uh, from that location, um, you're probably talking about seven hundred dollars for the for that installation in that ballpark. Does it, does it warrant a street light for the dark or? Uh, I can tell you just in personal knowledge it, that section of the road does have some houses with children and it is dark. Yeah, yeah. and that's why we put the street lights up. So yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve it. Yeah. Would you, any other discussion? Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion carried. Item number six, Ocean City Crew Boosters request to hold raffle number 417 at yesterday's restaurant on various dates in March, April, and May of 2014. Will we approve it? Second. Let's call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion carried. Item number seven, results of the 2013 road paving project and reconstruction of Ocean Avenue from Wildwood Avenue to Sea Sounds Avenue from the bid opening. Now, th this is a project that's being funded? Uh, the, the bid encompasses two projects. Uh, first is a, a municipal aid grant received from the DOT back in 2012, and that's for the reconstruction of a portion of Ocean Avenue. Uh, Wildwood Avenue, uh, east to uh, Route 9, across Route 9 to its end, uh, just past uh, uh, Sea Sounds Avenue. Um, and we have a grant for $150,000. Uh, the portion of that work was $153,359 from the, from the lowest responsible uh, quarter. So the balance of that would come out of our paving project uh, funds. 
Um, the remainder of the uh, work uh, that was the, to resurface and reconstruct um, just over five miles of road. Those are the streets that we had discussed uh, when we did uh, the bond uh, referendum, I mean bond ordinance, and uh, that that portion was 866428 by the lowest bidder. Uh, that was, they were about 20000 the lowest bidder was about $20,000 less than the, uh, the next lowest bidder. Um, when it was well over 200, you know, from the bond estimate, I had initially estimated not knowing what the prices would come into, you know, that was going to be closer to 1.5 million, so the, the prices came in significantly less uh, than what we had anticipated. And, and a large portion of that comes into how much, you know, the, the volume of streets and the size of the project uh, that we paid. You know, we, our typical projects were in the $200,000, $250,000 range, and so you don't get that economy of scale. Uh, when the contractors get bidding on this large of a quantity, uh, the, the discounts were pretty significant compared to what we previously had ever saw. Well, uh, we've had a lot of discussion about the paid project, and, and just from the numbers we have on these projects, we know that the paid is cheaper than reconstruction. So, I'd like to make a motion and be awarded to the largest possible better. Second. I would like uh, to point out that it will be contingent upon, obviously, whatever is required with respect to the grant for the DOT portion. So noted in my motion. Okay, is there any other discussion? Hearing none, let's go to roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? I, uh, I know that some streets have been paid. All of that list, I'm mean, questioning the timing of it on some of that. I'll deal for a one extent in this. Okay. All right. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried with four in favor and uh, Mr. and Sarah abstaining. Item number eight. Hold on one second. So, when do we anticipate some of the projects to begin on, on the paving of the streets? Um. It's going to depend on how, how long, how quickly we process the contract, the insurance, and the bonding comes in. Um, hang on, and also depends on how mild the winter is. You know, if it was a winter like last year, the contractors worked right through most of the winter and they didn't really have much of a shutdown. Um, but he could anticipate starting probably the first of the year, depending okay. on the weather. How do you this this fall? Uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of both. Um, oh, several of the streets will have milling on the, I'll say the, the outside portions of it, to, so that we don't have to change uh, a lot of the driveway configurations and replace all the driveways that are still in good condition. Um, and then we'll get a, an inch and a half overlay over the top the whole street. After the street has been, you know, if there's any repair areas that need to be repaired uh, like that. There are a couple streets that we're doing just a complete overlay over the existing street. But for one, my street, when we repair it, it's higher than going with it. Some of them, at least at the end of the church and the uh, Oak Street. Uh, the Wolverine gets spotted, the house across the land gets spotted when it's in it. But as the four students pay, it never happened to work. It, it will, uh, I'm, I'm, we want to avoid that. Yes, we, we always do that. And my final question is, is have we prioritized what streets will be done or that it's just more of a convenience for the total overall bid who's, who's doing the contracting work? Meaning we had, we had, we talked about there's been some six, substantial I guess of putting water water pipes in, uh, down in Margate and right. Seaview and those areas, and so the question is: is will they be paid first or how's no? Okay. I mean, we'll work with the contractor and, and look at what you know really what streets need to be paid. Uh, some streets are going to have concrete curb and driveways replaced because of you know their elevation and condition or where they don't have any. 
Um, so you know, it'll kind of be coordinated between what type of work needs to be done on which street and, and their schedule. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on to the next item. Okay. Uh, item number eight under unfinished business, public works vehicle purchase with the municipal bond. What, what, what is this? Oh, my understanding, Barb, isn't this the one where you're waiting for information from bond councils? That's correct. So it would and need to be taken. Yes. Because we haven't heard from bond council. That's correct. So let's re agendize this item. There's no, no, do we need a formal motion to table it? Uh, you can, but you, you know, I don't think it's needed because you can't report on it if you don't have information back. That's what was put on the agenda. We thought we'd have it by Monday. If, from my conversation I mean, earlier today with Bond. From Bond Council Barb. before it, we can even react to the request anyway. Correct. Hmm. Okay. Item number nine shared services agreement with Cape May County for use of equipment. This uh, just to um, give you an update, the Township Committee had agreed to extend the contract. Um, the contract itself says you can do that on a uh, letter basis without entering into a new contract. The clerk's office reached out to the county and the county agreed to extend it for a year. Now there has been some uh, discussion, as I understand it, between Barber's office and the county where they may want to extend it a little more than a year um, uh, because they're trying to get all their contracts to go the calendar year. Um, so instead of extending from November, uh, to November, they would possibly want to extend it to November through the end of the year. Um, this is for the off-track uh, vehicles, I believe, for medical purposes during emergencies, where we can have a shared service agreement with the county uh, to utilize their, their vehicles. Um, uh, my understanding is it's, uh, the, the, the uh, agreement has worked well, and the county agreed right away that, yes, we should extend it. Um, I think that the only thing uh, that's needed now is a, a, uh, uh, a motion second and a vote of the Township Committee to extend it uh, to either a year or a year plus a, the two months uh, 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 to whatever the county desires if they want to have their contracts go annually. I, I have no problem with doing a year plus the two months to bring it into a year end. Um, it certainly makes sense and in fact as we, as, as we reminisced a few minute, minutes ago, I mean the county really was uh, here in force in the township, uh, not only helping us with the evacuation center that we had in place, but they brought in a trailer for, for animals to to, uh, to shelter them, and geez, they provide us with a lot of equipment, including that now we have our own deuce and a half um, because of this. So uh, I have no problem with doing that. So I'll make a motion that we extend the contract for a year plus two months to bring it, whatever the it, amount. If necessary, if requested by the county, two months. Right now, they've asked us. They've agreed it should be extended for a year. Okay. However, we got a subsequent communication that said perhaps we would want it through the end of the year. So uh, my... Whatever, whatever they're comfortable with, um, I'm, that's the motion that I will approve. You know, okay. Yeah, we don't want to end it November 1st. That's the middle of hurricane season. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? No. Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Palumbo? Yes. Motion is carried. I hereby move that all claims submitted for payment at this meeting be approved and incorporated in full in the minutes of this meeting. Sorry. Let's call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion carried. There are no reports from the admission departments this evening, so <coughs> we'll move on and open it up. If there's anyone that would like to address the Township Committee, now is the time to do it. Okay, hearing quiet out, uh, there will close the public portion and the public comment. And Mr. Newman, would you read the motion? I hereby move the resolution incorporated in the minutes authorizing the Township Committee to enter into an executive session for the following matters pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act. Number one, contract negotiations. Number two, the as far as the law office is running the bond. Number two, contract negotiations. Shared services agreement with the fire district for website services. I also included my motion yesterday at the time in the circumstances under which discussion could not be in closed session to disclose to the public as follows. A is anticipated 
that matters discussed in closed session may be disclosed to the public upon the determination and the council believe that the public's interest will no longer be served by such confidentiality. Mm -hmm. And B, with respect to contract negotiations of such matter to be made public when negotiations have ceased and there's no longer a reason for confidentiality. Sorry. Call the roll, please. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Corson? Yes. Mr. Insara? Yes. Mr. Newman? Yes. Mayor Plumbo? Yes. Motion carried. <laughs> Well, thank you all for coming. This may be one of our shorter meetings uh, that I can recall in, in recent memory. So please have a great evening and a great week, and happy Halloween to all of you.